Aftershocks continue to rattle Northern California as residents try to start cleaning up. In fact, this video taken from a drone shows some of the buildings hit hardest mm. from the weekend earthquake. Look at that. A magnitude 3.9 tremor early this morning was another setback for some people who were assessing all this damage. Wow, that is good video. Mm -hmm. Kiko Fujita joins us now live from Napa tonight with what's being done to prevent more damage. Kiko. Well, Allison, Kendis, I can tell you that aftershock this morning, morning certainly rattled some nerves. It caused some damage in area roads as well. In terms of securing these buildings, we've seen crews going up, putting up these barricades like the ones you see back here. The idea is to keep these buildings from crumbling uh, out into the street. But these crews who have been out here working with added urgency today as they brace for more aftershocks. Crews in Napa work around the clock to secure tattered structures, barricading one of the oldest buildings here in danger of crumbling. The renewed urgency coming after a magnitude 3.9 aftershock this morning. Further south in the city of Vallejo, the focus is on dismantling this historic bell tower. The top parapet was leaning and coming apart and it, a wind could blow it over. We actually rocked it with our hands. It was going to come off. The pastor of First Baptist Church Vallejo alerted the city as soon as he saw cracks in the building. Workers now taking a city landmark apart brick by brick, mindful more tremors may be on the way. This is one of the old lanterns. Um, so it's just a matter of picking up and cleaning up. At the Napa Firefighters Museum, Jeff Hunter is just beginning the cleanup. His crews spent the past few days helping others pick up the pieces. We normally run 48-hour shifts, but we've been having extra crews on board, so we haven't had time to come down here and take care of this. The quake jolted this museum devoted to firefighters here. All of its history now tossed around on the floor. The broken fire hydrants and cracks in the ceiling, a reminder of the long road ahead. How long do you think it's going to be until this place can open back up? Um, with our schedule, we're probably not going to be in here for a week cleaning up. There is some good news this afternoon. The Napa Unified School District says they have been able to get to all the school buildings. They've assessed the damage and all but one of the schools will reopen tomorrow. Reporting live in Napa, California, Akiko Fujita, ABC 7 News. Allison Kendis, back to you. Yeah,